probably went the first two weeks, going into the third week before I wore anything she brought me. Well, I wore it out the house, but I went around going to my man's house, switched up. Man, we was, at that time, we at the Gap, we had the Banana Republican, we had the Benetton Shop. That was us during that time. We K-Swiss, we Tree Torns, we all that kind of shit at the time. You know what I mean? And then some days I forget to change clothes when I come back in the house, and then some days I remember. But that's what it was at the time. So it wasn't that my mom was, she was naive a whole lot, especially if I'm down to school and I'm hooping. You know what I mean? And she catching little clips of me on the news, and, you know, I'm in the newspaper, whatever, like that. So she thinking, my head on straight. And then she knew a lot of guys was giving me stuff or whatever, so she ain't really know right then that I was getting down. You know no, what I mean? Sure, sure. Yeah, so like I say, after after you know winning the MVP in the Metro Classic, after going on the cable station the next day, after talking to uh, Raj, man, it came around to like you know time to sign, see where you're going at. Yeah. And guess where I wind up going at? Down the street, HCC. With the Howard Community College, right? But check this out. And I tell people when I speak, and I tell them, nothing wrong with going to a community college. Nothing. By no stretch of the imagination. <laughs> but it's a difference when you went to Dunbar and yeah. played and excelled. You know, that's Absolutely. different. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. Because the last guy can get into somewhere. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, me and another guy that um, was on the team uh, wind up going up there with me, and we changed the organization around like, that. I play. I might play nine games, right? Um, on every monitor, but what he had that athletic department. You know what I mean? They was broadcasting our games. They were, uh, you know, updating, giving the news on our games or whatever. Coach. So listen. So the coach, yeah. he knew that I was getting down because I'm coming to school. I'm on two pages. You know, driving a different rental every week. You know, when I come up or whatever. And he's like, boy, be careful. You know what I mean? In practice, he holding my chain, holding my pages and all that shit. He just like, be careful. You know what I mean? And um, because of what we did for the program when we got there. I mean, we was busting everybody ass at that time. You know what I mean? Just you as a freshman there. Yeah, just me as my first year there. And you, you know and him had that, that type of rapport. Right from the gate. Y'all was good. So I don't even know whether he had seen me play before. I'm sure he did. You know what I mean? But um, he probably never imagined me wanting to come there because I like had to... Like really go to somebody that I didn't really want to go to. Like yo, you gotta get me in school somewhere. Yo. What was the what, what was the what was the deciding factor to go there? That Did I had to do something because otherwise I'd have been full time. So, so that's what I'm saying. So so you get you get these recruits and you 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 in East Baltimore after the season is over with and everything is going on whatever. But like I told you, you tap dancing. You you're on both sides and the offers slow down. And you just trying to be realistic. Right. So you wind up going to Howard system code just to me, you just to get away from the city a little yeah, bit. Well well just and, and for my mom too, you know, because mom, mom no, no question. Mom like, you know, what, what the you, you, you buy your own apartment at that yeah, time? No, I mean we had a little apartment because mom still don't know that I'm always yeah, doing it. Absolutely. So you know we got a little I mean, you know, yeah. we got a little pockets yeah. somewhere where we go stay from time to time. Yeah. For the most part, though, I laid at home all the time. You know what I mean? But then as, as the activity increased a little more, and I can remember the day that my mom's house got raided, right? So it went from this. I was commuting to Howard Community College. So I'll drive up in the morning, go to class, go to practice, do whatever. When I come home, man, I got a whole motherfucking playground waiting on me. You think what I'm saying? And I did it like that for a while. And then that one dreadful day, you know what I mean, that they uh. They kicked my fucking door. They hit like three houses on the same, on my on my mom block. Mm -hmm. Hit like three houses on the block, and they locked my mom up, yo. You know what I mean? So you know it it, it was like really really tough, cause I had almost got to the point where a lot of people knew that I was getting down. You know what I mean? So I didn't really care about who was outside when I came outside. Right. But you know news travel fast. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it was like when it happened. You know they had us in the house for a while or whatever. You know they fucking the house all up or whatever. And then I heard them say, yeah, let them know we need one, we taking one female too. And I'm like, ho, oh, oh, what? What y'all found something? What, you know what I mean? No, hey, no, that's mine. You know, I, and I try to take it right then and there. But the way they do things is, man, they want to take everybody. Yeah. They want you to spend more money. They want you to spend lawyer money. They want you to spend bail money and all that shit. And they want to set example. And they want to humiliate you. Yep. So me and my mom was the last two that they brought out of the house. And man, when I tell you, when we got outside, Man, the whole motherfucking community was out there. Man, it was like, they was like, oh, dude, I was so embarrassed for my mom. They brought my 
mom out in the motherfucking house coat. You know what I mean? Because that's just how regular my mom old school. Remember the little snap, little house coats they used to have two pockets, the sleeve, the, the shoulders out and all that. Man, mom in the house chilling, man. They come kick the doors in. You know what I mean? First time you locked up? I had got locked up before, right, uh, in the summertime, and I had, uh, we had a little stash behind the, behind the uh, phone booth, you know what I mean? And everybody ran, except for me, when the police pulled up. You know, I'm calling myself kind of bluff, kind of bluff, and I got a weed, I got a jail weed in my pocket, and I probably had about two or three hundred dollars in my pocket, and they found the stash, so that was mine, you know what I mean? I had to get that, you know what I mean? So I got probation for it, you know what I mean? I got probation before the judgment, and I probably got like five years probation, you know what I mean? And, um... So other than that, nothing. Yeah. And then when this happened, boom. You know, that's some real. Yeah, yeah man. They came and invested time and broke the door down. And no question. No question, man. your mom up. And, 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 and check this out. The funny thing is, they never knew what I was doing who I was. Yeah. My brother that was getting high, what he did was, all hours of the night, he running in and out of the house, in and out of the house, in and out of the house. Now, we wasn't doing nothing in my mom's house. We was up on the corner. But that's you know hot, what I'm saying? That's hot situation. So what happens is, in the evening time, yeah. when we ain't doing nothing no more, or late night, Motherfucker undercovers come through and asking my brother, like, you know, who got something? And he getting high, so he's so ready, ready to burn a motherfucker, do something. He get that money, and he runs, he goes in my mother's front door, out the back door, and go cop somewhere else, but come back through the back door and come out the front door, so now it appears that he's getting it out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, absolutely. That's the game they play. So that's, that was the deciding factor for them to get uh, a warrant to kick the doors in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, so, you know, that was what it was, man, and, and that, that really... What year was that? Oh, that was 1980, uh, that was 1990. 1990. That was 1990, because I graduated in 89, right? And then we talking February of, we talking like January, February of 90. You 90. know, I had already gotten to school or whatever. And like I said, um, I played like nine games, you know what I mean? And uh, that dreadful day, you know what I mean? They kicked the doors in and, um, you know, I get a bail, I come out on bail. I had to get my mom out on bail. You know what I mean? And, and rather than put my mom through a long, drawn-out trial, I just stepped up and accepted responsibility. You know what I mean? And um, I copped out to 10 years. Off the, out the gate, 1990. 10 years. You know what I mean? 10, ten, ten oh. years, man. Okay, the first so go-round. First, first go-round, you copped it. And that was off the tutelage of the lawyer, or? No, it had to be. Really, it was because my mom, my mom, I couldn't have my mom go through no long, drawn-out trial. They were trying to take my mom's house, saying that my mom, the house was broke with drug money. And they, and they, we they, got they, the deeds and everything right there that it was signed off from my grandfather. My grandfather hold on, hold on, hold on. did. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yeah? Wait a minute. He's tough, Holmes. Wait a minute. He's tough. Wait a minute. So you 19 years old. Yeah, 20 at that They're time. They're saying man. a house that you have, a, your mom has the deed on. Yeah, it was, was broke with drug money. money? Brought with drug money, no question. So now that's just their finagle to try to build that's a case. Who, yeah. So, you know, and then the lawyer that I hired for her, Leslie Stein, i never forget it. Leslie Stein ain't take the case. He got his partner, William Mumphrey, to represent my mom. They thought it was in my mom's best interest to cop out to a common nuisance house. You think what I'm saying? A common nuisance house, and uh, she'll get probation before the judgment. So I, I had, no. that, that, that had to be a part no, of it in order for me to take the dime. Now, let me tell you this. Let me just make this clear. Had not my mom been in the house or not my mom got locked up, then we'd have went on the rumble because they had nothing on me. They never even mentioned me at all. It was them pointing my brother out saying that, you know, he made the sale. You know what I mean? So I could have rolled all the way with it. You think what I mean? But um, I could have put my I got step up and be a man. I know that nothing happened unless it was me. I got the drugs flowing. You know what I mean? So um, I took that 10 and went on in. Yeah, I went on in, but let me tell you how, how the blessings flow. The blessings flow because I was up Hagerstown for like a year and a half. I'm all ready to do this bit, man. Fuck it, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. You ready to do the 10 piece. Listen, this is a state, this is a state, state. piece. So I'm, I'm ready to do my time. 1990. Right? Yeah, so now we, 1990 going into 91, right? So now we, in the 91, probably like um, 91 and 92, so we talking about like November '92, a case manager called me up to the to the joint. Right, I tell my seller, I said, "Seller, get ready, go see my case manager." He like, "All right, seller, see me get back." So I go up there. I don't know no better. She like, um, "Yeah, I see here that you're eligible for a MAP program, and um, would you be interested?" Being ignorant at the time, not really caring. I'm just ready to do this bit. You know what I mean? Like, I, 
I mean, I, I think about it. You know what I mean? So she's like, okay, well, just let me know, you know, and I'll explain all the details or whatever. So I'm like, fine. I go back down to myself. Sally, like, yo, what happened, Sally? I said, yeah, I don't know. What, she's talking about a map program or something. He's like, what you say? I said, I told her, go back up there and tell her, now you want the map program. Because the map program is a mutual agreement plan, okay. right? So what happens is on 10 years, you'll go for parole in two and a half years. Normally, on two and a half, normally when you go for two and a half on 10, they'll give you a hit. Come back and see me in 18 months. You know what I mean? I already had a high school diploma. I had some college. You know what I mean? So they like, uh, you got to get a trade and you do something else. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay. So part of my MAP program was to not get in no trouble, to get a, 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 a trade. So I did brick mason trade. We built this big meat cutting, meat, uh, meat printing, meat, cut, meat cutting factory up in Hagerstown, Roxbury. Um, the second part of it was going to boot camp, right? And then the third part of it was I had to go to uh, uh, BCCC and then had to go to BPRU and then I could come out on home monitor. So on 10 years, I did three and a half on 10. Mm. And by the three and a half, I was at home on home monitor. At home, yeah. Yeah, so I really worked it, but guess what? I got my ass chewed out while I was there, and this is what I was talking about, the blessings. So after I tell my case manager that I want the MAP program, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta go before a board. And guess who is one of the people on the board? A Dunbar alumni. He know my whole story. Man, he chewed me a new ass in there. Yeah. What? Had to. I can't believe you in here. Had to. You though. put a disgrace to our school like this and da da da. I mean, he was going on and on and on. I gotta eat that shit. Could you? I was gonna say. Yeah, I gotta eat it. I was gonna say because you could honestly at that point. You, as a child, you already respected Yeah, yeah, Dunbar. ain't no question. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew what time it was. No, no, I'm, I'm so Dunbar. You, so you I'm Dunbar till this day right now. I see you know outfit the No day. question. I'm Dunbar to this day. You know what I mean? So, you know, and uh, man, he treated me a new ass in there. But guess what? That was the reason why he gave me that opportunity that, to get yeah, me back. For sure. I had to eat all that. You know what I mean? Didn't know what his decision was going to be because he was straight poker face giving it to me. But he wound up uh, granting me the MAP program. And um, let me tell you some crazy shit I said while I was in.